continues in two homicide investigations. A crowd of people, two officers injured, and dozens of police and emergency crews at the scene right now of a South Tulsa apartment complex. Good afternoon, I'm Tiffany Alaniz. Officers are investigating a second homicide at the Savannah Landing Apartments just hours after a shooting this morning. We have live team coverage for you this afternoon with three reporters and four photographers at the scene. We begin with Fox 23's Preston Jones. He's live there now. And Preston, you were actually at the apartment complex when you saw dozens of police officers show up a second time. Yeah, Tiffany, we were actually standing right out here around 10 this morning when we saw a ton of police officers come flying into this complex. You can still see some of them down there. The flashing lights are still on. Police now confirming a second homicide here. They tell us a family member found a young woman shot and killed inside her apartment bedroom. Police so far aren't saying if the two homicides are connected, but Homicide Sergeant Dave Walker told us it's certainly a possibility. We brought you a breaking news. News coverage this morning after that first deadly shooting. Police say around 6 o'clock, a 40 year old man was coming to pick up his kids, and someone shot and killed him in the parking lot here at Savannah Landing. Police say that man is familiar with the complex and he's banned from being here. Then, shortly after 10 o'clock, police started investigating a second homicide inside an apartment. Police tell us that apartment is pretty close to the parking lot where the first homicide happened. Police say they aren't sure actually which shooting happened first. They say the victim in the apartment, though, is between 18 and 20 years old. Combined with yesterday's homicide downtown, a police tell us right now they're just bogged down with these homicide investigations. Again, all of this still very active out here. We're keeping our finger on the pulse of that investigation. We'll check back in in the next few minutes. Live in South Tulsa, covering news that matters. I'm Preston Jones, Fox 23 News. Take a look. You can see the police helicopter circling in that area from our view of the Fox 23 Skyview network, and we could just hear it in Preston's live shot still in the air. As we mentioned, as many as 16 patrol units arrived on the scene to investigate the body discovered and to help with the crowds of people that gathered there. Our team coverage continues now with Fox 23 Sharon Phillips. She's live outside of the complex with reaction from those who were nearby. Sharon. Well, Tiffany, I can tell you it's still a very active scene out here right now. You mentioned the police helicopter, obviously those 16 officers that were called out here earlier. What we know right now is that at least two people were arrested here and taken downtown for questioning after two Tulsa police officers were arrested. Now, I want to show you what we're looking at. This is the scene right now. Now, when we arrived earlier today, things were very heated. There was also a crowd of about 50 people surrounding and also near a fire truck. Now, they were pushing and shoving, but thankfully, that situation died down. Now, things do continue to remain a little tense out here. Security actually came over and closed the west gates earlier, but they just reopened them just a little while ago to let people in and out of this complex. Police are gathered in the middle of the complex, still investigating. Earlier, we spoke to Sergeant Dave Walker, and here is what he had to say about the escalating tension. Uh, the officers that were assaulted are fine. As fine as can be. I, mean, I think uh, emotions got pretty high. Um, and once we get that calmed down, it'll it'll work out. Now, just to give you some perspective of where we are at, this is now the Savannah Landing apartment complex. It used to be the Fairmont Terrace apartment complex where the quadruple homicide happened several years ago. So once again, police are remaining on the scene out here investigating uh, both this morning's homicide as well as this, uh, the one that happened, I believe, around 10 or 1030 this afternoon. So we're going to stay out here, continue to have live team coverage, and we'll have more updates for you at just about at 1230. Reporting live in South Tulsa, covering news that matters. I'm Sharon Phillips, Fox 23 News.